one of the three big combos you want to go. A fall apart from Germany, but Vaxe goes down as well. 1,100 combos still solidified for both Wanchi and Rectagon. They're still holding on. Wanchi goes down. It's all up to Rectagon to close. Welcome to the Oz World Cup 2023 Finals Recap. This round has been all about scaling because this map pool is hard as heck. Any FC is top notch. Germany was looking to get Canada back for the loss in round of 16, while the Canadians wanted to break the loser's bracket elimination curse against the Germans. It was the European team getting the first break point on Hidden One to hold and pop off and this is the scaling that we talk about when we talk about Germany in finals weekend. This is the team that has been top four for five plus years in a row in the OS World Cup and they continue to find talent like Kriller year after year to take up the mantle of carry player. He this was followed by one of the greatest team scores of the tournament. No German member had less than 800k on the high AR DT1 pick and Okinamo nearly landed at FC for a straight 3-0 lead. That is 1.1 mil secured for Okinamo. May as well be the FC. 99 accuracy on the play and uh, I mean, what do you do against this kind of a team score? 4-way 800k plus for Germany, one member above 1.1 mil. Canada pick switched on Lotus DT as their answer and they were fighting to win that map. This pick was extremely stressful to watch with that tiny margin. Hey, those can make or break a run for your team. Vesper and Zudinator need to hold for Canada. White Cat needs to hold for Germany if they want to take this one. As we get into now finally the linear stream pattern. Zudi and Vesper both break on it. White Cat continues to hold. He hits the pattern but Ryui hits it for Canada and that might just be enough to secure the point. The North American roster needed to win their own breakpoint now, however it was the German squad claiming another 2 points on quite scrappy maps. For map 7, Germany chose Freedom Dive free mod and Canada went for the over mod gambit. Ryuk and Tim Kockner had some outstanding scores. There goes everyone at the ending and yeah, if you thought we might see some full combos, you forgot what the end of this map looks like. <laughs> Six misses on that pattern there from everybody. Xyler somehow believe. hitting the ending on Hard Rock, by the way. Five match points for Germany, or said differently, Canada needed a 6 0 run to win this match. The Maple team went for the low air hidden too, not a bad pick necessarily, but Germany does have enough reading players this year. Live on Canada whatsoever, and this map, this match is over. Germany knocking Canada out in finals weekend once again. You can take a break from it in 2022. You can run, <laughs> but you can't hide from Germany in finals weekend. Once more, top four for a squad who have not... 7-1 to is too harsh of a scoreline. There were some close maps. Nonetheless, the German victory was well deserved. And they kick Canada out of the tournament once again in losers finals. Is Germany becoming their kryptonite? So, Henry wrote this in his chat. Let's see whether this came true. The Americans gave them no breathing room and started with a breakpoint on Nomad 3 Alt Flow Aim with an 800k score by Rectagon. This match here, the Philippines gonna be starting behind a bit, but they've got plenty of time to recover and they are certainly going to need it. And this was the big worry for the Philippines coming into this match, right? You look at Xylos in the top right corner and... Even in finals, clear pick strategies apparently don't work. Enri's FC on the Nomad 5 hybrid pick equalized the breakpoint. Mastery Nathan Ram does find a break, but Enri being that hero again, the number one performing player across both of these teams in this lobby, he is showing up, he is ready to go, he is putting his team on his back, and he is going to drag them to the finish of this map with one of the most exceptional performances of the weekend we've seen so far. It was those two players, Enri and Rectagon stealing the show again, neutralizing each other with their FCs on DT2 speed. So which backing scores would be stronger? Intact, neither Vaxe nor Rectagon letting up despite Vaxe's accuracy dropping. He does finally drop the FC and it is just Rectagon to hold the United States into the ending. Now, unfortunately, Enri, despite his great performance, will not be able to do this by himself. This time around, the United States 
The US roster continued to gather points diligently. The near double FC on Hard Rock 3 Tech, one of the hardest maps in this pool, secured them point number five. It is not the scenario that the Philippines wanted to be in. Unfortunately, the United States with Recticon and Vaxay right now just. Okay, there's no way. They both actually just hit that wiggle pattern. Okay, a good score uh, for Enry on the side of the Philippines here, 600,000 plus as well into the ending. With an unstoppable 5-0 run by the American squad, the Philippines were in some serious trouble facing a lot of match points. However, the core trio desperately tried to strike back. Part 1, Hyok on DT1. Section of the map right now, this consistent jumps and triple section. There goes Kama, there goes Rectigon. Enry does find a break at the ending, but I don't think there's enough time for the United it's States. The Philippines will survive for one map more as we come into the last section of the pick here. I don't think there's enough time, and I think it is secured. The Part 2, Enry on Nomad for attack. Hyok also did similarly well on this, and this was an American pick. Currency drop matters at this point. Thousand no points. This Henry needs to hit the ending patterns though. He's got it. He's basically got it. There's nothing to miss at the ending here. There's no combos on the United States and the Philippines is going to make it through these final sliders. 15,000 score and climbing. Henry showing off an absolute mastery of sliders. And, and part three, Nathan Ram on Freema 3. And as you have seen already, single player carries on final stage are very much possible. As we see the mess from Vaxay in the next 10 seconds, it's not gonna be enough. I think you're right. Vaxe has simply held for too long. It looked all but likely for the entirety of this pick. Fiery Rage even finds a break into the ending, and so does the entirety of Team Philippines. Along with Vaxe, does Hyok hold it? No. He does uh. Nathan Ram with the full combo. The Filipino roster ends up in top 6. They have been improving their placement year by year. If the trio stays the same and they can remove the 4th player syndrome, I can see them getting to the podium. All roads lead to Germany versus USA. The German team has another shot to defeat the American roster for the very first time. But their DT3 pick backfired against a near double FC. Are we going to see a double FC on this double time three immediately to start this match off? Oh, it seems to be the case. Going to the final sections of this map, no major div spikes left to go, I believe. So as long as Rectagon and Wachi stay stable, the USA are going to completely destroy Germany on their first opening pick. This meant a quick 2 0 lead for the US before Germany went the aim route on Fremont 1. As a biased watcher from Germany, I nearly had a heart attack. Can it's Germany so kick this going? Okinomo is trying to do something here, and White Cat as well. Final jump section. Takino goes down. That's going to slow down the process. Vaxe, keep it holding. It's I don't Germany. think that's going to be it. I don't think it's that's going to matter. Germany's got it. White Cat. Remember the ODWC PP record from last week? Yeah, the Blue Zenith record by worst HR player was short-lived as Rectagon dominated the match once again and FC DT2 with incredible accuracy. Yara is the last one of the combo guard to go down. No, nothing for Germany to fight back with. Final Ki is only going to nail the coffin even more. Germany falling apart towards the late stage. And United States, especially in Rectagon and Wachi, they're going to be able to hold on to this whole ending section. Rectagon with phenomenal accuracy to end it off. 99.5 act for Rectagon. Picking Freedom Dive against Canada ensured Germany a point, but would it work a second time against the USA? Stop giving me heart attacks, please. The hardest part of the map here. Takedo's the first to go, but that's not one of the three big combos you want to go. A fall apart from Germany, but Vaxay goes down as well. 1,100 Wachi. combos still solidified for both Wachi and Rectagon. They're still holding on. Wachi goes down. It's all up to Rectagon to close this out. Any chain misses come through could lead to the end, but Rectagon remains spin on phase. I spin think they've done it. Is it a spin to win? Can they flip no. it? No. After a close fight on DT4, the Americans were running away with the lead. Vaxay's FC on Floem Nomad 3 even secured match point. This overall team score here from the United States. Rectagon once again not letting that brick phase him. Keeping that supporting anchor to let Vaxay do what he needs to do. What a great score from this guy. You know Vaxay for being such a well-rounded and strong mechanics player. But on top of that man, his control... 
The American team was able to convert the first match point into a victory. Five maps had less than 150k score difference, and this match has been regarded as one of the closest 7-1 victories, and Germany misses out on the podium for the first time since 2019. The Aussies are known to have the best speed roster in the whole tournament, so can please anyone explain to me how South Korea was able to land that break point on double time too? Australia didn't even play badly. South Korea's holding on, especially with Garch and Ferrazia holding. I think this is going to be a break point for South Korea on the double time too. Hey, even with that late break from Karcher and Parisius, they do suffer a couple of misses at the very end, but there's just not going to be the time left that Australia would need. This score gap will come down a bit with Secret Box on the 1600 combo, but it's going to be too little too late. The East Asians had a clear head start with a 3-0 lead. After Emrek's 800k score on Hidden 1 was in vain, he stepped up. How to carry 101? Lesson 1 on DT3. 400k plus lead. This is going to be Australia's first point going on the board, and the only question left to answer is whether or not Emrek will bring home the FC, because that's something that I think he's going to need to do. He's going to need to put up some good scores, because even getting the best out of his teammates, I think he does still need to be the big carry here, and he is showing off his ability to do just that on this pick. It is going. Lesson 2 on HR3, the complicated Hard Rock tech map. NFC is unheard of, and additionally, this was Korea's pick, fitting their style a lot more. A 275k lead and growing. Secret Box had a solid supporting score for him as well, and it is just breaks left, right, and center for the other seven members of the lobby. But Emrek is putting on a clinic in the form of aim control on this pick. What a score he has here into the ending. Will he hit the last pattern? He does. Insane. It's going to be back to back after FCs. Lesson 3 on Hard Rock 1 aim consistency. Emreg was unstoppable, and this performance started to look like Itki's legendary 6 out of 7 FCs in finals pool. For the astonishing superstar from Australia, he is doing it once more. It is going to be another very solid win for Australia here. 600k plus, and a big, big chunk of that is on the shoulders of Emreg who is going to drop another FC Unreal, that is three man. in a row. However, South Korea had their own star performer and worst HR player who nearly achieved a crazy 800k on low air hidden to reading. Ambrek's rampage came to a stop. Australia side that can combat what worst HR player is doing right now. This is a little bit of a reverse of the Hard Rock one. It's now worst HR player's time to shine, and really his accuracy speaks for it all. This map, other than being insane to aim, lots of the rhythms are pretty tough as we see a lot of these players. Worst HR player does find a break, but... And apparently this hidden 2 pick meant a momentum shift. Emrek's streak was over for now, and Forum was now in the driver's seat with an astonishing FC on Nomad 5 Hybrid. This is going to be South Korea taking the breakpoint lead back. It's going to be 5-3. to three. This one's all but done. It's, is Worst HR player going to be able to pull off another FC? He's got his own streak going here. If so, anything Emrek can do, Worst HR player saying he can try to do just as well, if not even better. This is a, another remarkable performance. With this breakpoint and another map win for Korea on Nomad 4, Australia needed a 3-0 run for the tiebreaker. It was a tough decision, but the Aussies went for Precision Hard Rock 2. Yet the Koreans do have a Hard Rock expert named Kacha for these cases. Combo is not in Australia's favor, and this is going to be South Korea. It looked so good for Australia there for a while, but South Korea just took over this match. That is four maps in a row from 3-3 to 7-3. 3-0, 3-3, 7-3. was a seesaw of points with the better outcome for South Korea. Australia drops down to loser's bracket or match for top two against USA, while South Korea only needs to win once to become champions. Picks and band statistics can be neglected for finals and grand finals as we have only a few matches. But check out the grand finals map pool. We have Scarlet Rose DT for example and an incredible non-tech tiebreaker by Release Hallucination. Grand finals is always a bit weird to recap because there are only maximum 3 matches and you are going to see it anyway live. But well, let's just finish the series I guess. Who is going to win? Let me know in the comments. See you next week and until then. Please enjoy game.